We go immediately to Hans Jurgensen. Um, Hans, are you there? I am here, yes. Yes, and you're with uh, which organization, which news organization? Yeah, I'm with the Washington Post. <clears throat> you're with the Washington Post. Yes. So, uh, Hans, we wanted to come to you right away because um, uh, I understand that you have information on how bad uh, Obamacare is. And see, this is good because we were told <clears throat> that it was the shutdown that was messing up. You know, this was a perfect opportunity for Republicans to jump right. all over how bad Obamacare right. was. And, and the now press, we're going to hear about and it. And the press, right? even the press the was press saying, was just, we would be talking about how bad they were super Obamacare anxious. is. And so we wanted to go to Hans Jurgensen now. And Hans is with Washington Post, and you have some information mm-hmm. for us. Absolutely. And, of course, this is true, as you speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It is true that the government shutdown uh, put in by the Ted Cruz has made it impossible for the press to do their job and cover yeah, the negative I, consequences. No, I understand. I understand. That. We, we, we have that. Now, now, now uh, Ted is uh, – the, the government's no longer shut down. The panda yeah. cam is back on, so the, the panic <clears> – <throat> Of the missing panda cam mm-hmm. is over. So now, can you g- give us the information that you have here on uh, on Obamacare? Of course, but before I do, I would just like to point out that Ted Cruz, leading his Confederate army of Republicans, uh, has really destroyed the country and hurt it right. in a way that I've not uh, the, seen since it, a terrorist. Att- what the country really has not been destroyed. And it's, I noticed that you're really just you've up. just called him a terrorist and a Confederate. Yes, a terrorist, a, a confederate, a uh, insurgent is the other one I was... <laughs> All right, okay. you're trying to weave in there. Okay, Hans. But, but what, we're, we're, we're past that now. We're past so. it now. It's over. So now this is the time for the press to be able to say mm. how bad Obamacare mm. is because that's what you promised that you, you know, that's what you all said you wanted to say. I mean, to it's say. so bad. Supposedly the president's going to apologize today or take some kind of responsibility or whatever. Well, yes, we can finally, as the press, talk about the Obamacare. And, and mm-hmm. unfortunately, as the problem started, Ted Cruz was starting a terrorist campaign. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, we, I don't know. okay, but we're beyond the terrorist we're, campaign yeah, now. We're beyond that now. So we, what, what we really want to do is, will the president apologize today or take well, responsibility? For Ted Cruz's terrorist campaign? No, 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 no. For, for the rollout no. of, of the, the horrible rollout of Obamacare. Well, he will be talking about the Obamacare in the Rose Garden today, mm-hmm. uh, and he will be uh, speaking, uh, uh, and, and I think what we will see today is a president acting swiftly to uh, go in and fix the problems of the private sector, who mm. came out, and, and they were... They Hold on just a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now it's that the president is going to act swiftly? I mean, he had four years to roll this thing out, and yeah. it sucks. And now you're saying that that's your big expose is that the president is acting <laughs> swiftly. Well, he's acting uh, very swiftly now uh, that the terrorist campaign is finally gone. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. All right. So he will, All right. He will be discussing, he will be drafting in uh, some of the uh, best minds. In the uh, technolo- technology field, okay, they'll no, be hey, drafting uh, them. I mean, they don't have any yeah. choice in this. That doesn't seem like a good thing. I mean, aren't, I thought the president and everybody on the left is always against the draft. Oh no, no, no! The, the left has uh, progressives have supported the draft all the way from uh, the uh, the NFL draft uh, to <laughs> the NBA draft, right. the Vietnam War draft. I don't think the Democrats are for the draft in the Vietnam War. No, I, don't. I don't think so. so. I, no. I think if you look back, you'll find that they were. And, and, and <laughs> don't I, no, hang on just a second. I want to make it clear. Yes, it was a Democratic president that actually put the draft in for the Vietnam War. And uh, another one that followed it up, it, it actually had to be a Republican that stopped it. But all the time that they were well, doing man, those things, things. These are the things that we could have been talking about. It's Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hans Jurgensen, of course, from the Washington Post. This is how it will be dealt with. <laughs> oh, of course it will be. How it's dealt with. Of course with. it will be. 